How long do you have a line? Sorry. This is express sewer and drain performing a TV inspection of a sewer lateral at 1263 Broadway in Placerville, or 1261, I think is their job name, uh, 1261 uh, Broadway. So uh, we're running it from a two-way clean-out located in the floor of the women's restroom. We're going to go ahead and uh, check out downstream first. So we've actually got a 4 inch um, ABS plastic pipe, two way clean out, um, bridgeless without a sweep, transitions to 4 inch cast iron. So at about uh, 10 feet, 6 inches, we transition back into 4 inch ABS with small amount of grease deposit building up. Um, 12, 12 feet, 11 inches, back into 4 inch cast iron. Sixty-three feet, three inches. Um, I believe we were at the end of the lateral. I could see a, a second lateral tying into here just before this, and it looks like we are now into um, uh, 
well, excuse me, that this would be a branch line, and then now we're going into the main lateral going out to the street, I believe. We're going to double check and confirm. Right here, 78 feet, 8 inches. Even further back, I can notice a lot of water build up. It looks like it's getting higher as we get closer, or excuse me, further down the line. Right 85 feet, 2 inches. We're now underwater. It might just be uh, some stuff building up. I'll attempt to push it out of the way, see if we can see what's going on. Maybe it's an offset with the lip or something. I don't know. We'll see. You can see all that water flowing now that I've washed everything out the way, yeah. So, it's kind of a little soft blockage. It's pretty dirty, you could use a good hydrojet, I would recommend. So the reason I'm pulling back is because I want to rerun this where the water's sitting okay. and record the location of it because uh, you definitely have a belly in the line. I figured it was an offset, but um, unless it's somewhere under that water where we can't see it because it's dirty water instead of clear water, um, and going back and forth will kind of help push it out the way so we can see better. But um, I do believe it is a belly, a grade issue, and that's why it's holding water. So let's take a look. But, you know, is, is, is that even your responsibility? Because no, it's yeah, the main, main, you know, I forgot about that. We're, we're so far out now. Yeah. So it's, it's about 75 feet, and we're oh. recording from the top of this. Oh, I'm looking to. Quite a distance. 
That's why all this stuff isn't going down right. It's just mm -hmm. kind of building up. Could have had a potential flaw that I just managed to uh, get rid of. But anyways, it, it seems to go... It, it still seems to be a little... It's not going down on its own. It was 70, starting at about 75. Once this water will go down on its own, then... Okay, so here's actually another um, transition at 100 feet, 4 inches. This is AC pipe, which is asbestos cement. This most likely is the lateral going out, out to the uh, main sewer, yeah. It'll probably play further down, but we've reached the end of my camera. So there's no way for me to, unless I can get far enough to see something.
with the downstream, we're going to go ahead and check out upstream now. Probably won't get very far, but we'll we'll see how far we can get. Yes, now, so, yeah, it looks like right here after the clean out is where they uh, ended the new line because I can see 4 inch ABS going upstream immediately and then uh, immediately downstream we saw uh, cast iron. So it looks like yeah, it should we were be three feet behind you, maybe, is where the, uh, maybe four. It's yeah. that wall. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's where we had to cut it at that point. And gotcha. Join it. So, yeah, okay. Real short thing. So, so the, the upstream should be good since it's newer, but yeah, check it out anyway. It'll stop here. at the wall down there. Okay, and you said that was replaced in when? 2008 maybe. Yeah. Okay. About 10 years ago. Yeah. A little bit of grease build up. Because you see, man, it's hanging out on it. It won't budge. So I can show you. There we go. Okay, so you can see the lip. This lip, we're upside down. This is the bottom of the pipe. This should be matching up with that. Right. It's right. a little bit of an offset, so that, that tells me that this pipe, one of the pipes has moved, and because this pipe is lower, the ABS is lower, I'm assuming this pipe stayed, this one lowered because further down, just a little bit down here, is where it's, you know, collecting and I had to push it to break it up. So it's it's got a grade issue. So it's basically collapsed right here just a little bit, created a grade issue and now it's struggling to go down. But you don't have any backups or anything, right? So I don't it's good. Okay, so now we're transitioning to oh, smaller line. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I'm down. When they put all of the stuff back into the slab, they probably have impacted it a little bit. So could have been that. It, it could have been. been down to the you know, maybe we're in California, so maybe it's just an earthquake. <laughs> I mean, we have earthquakes every day, you know. So I don't know. It could be anything. The feet fill underneath that pipe and send them bedding and gravel. And that's where this this water that's holding in here. That's also the issue because back there, the uh, grade. Because you know when you look in, first look in here, you see a little bit of a mm -hmm. tiny tiny bit of water. Yeah. So could be affecting it all the way down the line. Interesting. Uh, if you look back at the photographs and see how they join those parts, it might have been just a rubber couple of 